Hi, this is Stuart Albertson with Albertson and Davidson, and we've had a series of posts on creating California trusts and wills in that you're doing it wrong if you're creating a trust or will in this fashion. Today, we want to talk about exculpation clauses. An exculpation clause is a clause that says that the trustee of your trust is not liable for ordinary acts of negligence, but only liable for gross negligence or reckless indifference to a beneficiary's interest in the trust. Why is this important? It's important because if your trust includes an exculpation clause, you are creating a trust that more than likely will take away many of the duties that a trustee has to trust beneficiaries. So the duties for, to invest the trust assets properly, the duties to communicate uh, with the trust beneficiaries, uh, the duty to make sure that you're treating all beneficiaries the same way and not treating some better than others. If there's an exculpation clause in your trust, it will more than likely relieve the trustee of violating any of the duties they owe to trust beneficiaries. So do yourself a favor. If you're getting your California trust or you're getting your California will, make sure that you do not include an exculpation clause so that trustees and executors are in a position where they have to treat all beneficiaries of your estate fairly, openly, transparently, and follow the duties that they have under California law to protect the assets that you intend to go to the trust beneficiaries. So if you're including an exculpation clause in your California trust, you're doing it wrong in our opinion.